one time. And he's not that old. Of fa- he's only fifty seven years Wait old. Minute. He was dressing up as Curtis. <laughs> yeah, Blow. he That's dressed up was, as yeah. Curtis Blow. And he was about to perform a song. Wow. Well, yeah. these are the breaks. Yeah. <laughs> See, right. And that's what I'm saying. And the, and the funny part, the, the well, if it's it, funny, not funny, but um, when the governor Northern was, was saying, well, you know, it, it is me and it isn't me. I think he wasn't clear about that because he knew that there was another picture out there mm-hmm. where he where he said, you know, he was he knew that was him. Mm-hmm. And he put on blackface to be Michael Jackson. I said, Dude, first of all, Michael Jackson didn't even want blackface. First of all, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> I'm no Michael Jackson expert. But if you look at that picture, that man is wearing a sport coat and some uh, white, shoes. white shoes and some golf, like golf pants. Michael Jackson, what no, what performance wasn't. did Michael Jackson wear that in? No, that, that don't look like beat it. No, that, <laughs> that was a that was a, that, that, that was a different uh, that was a different blackface outing. Oh, okay, yeah, that was right. something that oh, was crazy. Sorry, right? Well, but it's it, but it's interesting because wow. all of these all of these folks you know are Democrats. Wow. Too. Yeah. So all three of them are Democrats. So and that you're just weakens about... our message, you know. Yeah, that <laughs> right. makes, makes the race very interesting now. Absolutely. Right. Well, it right. does, and and it's and it's hurting the party. It's hurting the party's messaging, just like it would any party. If you have folks, particularly when you look at this chain of command, the governor and the attorney general are both now, you know, saying that I have engaged in blackface. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm taking the governor at his first word when he apologized. And we played it at the beginning of the show. So I don't know how he evolved the next day and couldn't recognize himself. Mm. But when you have two high-profile people like that in your party, that's that's troubling. And, well, and that's going to be an issue for the Democrats. Well, from my perspective, it's, it's really disappointing for, you know, when it comes to the millennial way of thinking, a lot of us are on the fence. We don't really, um, I mean, I did it myself. I didn't really identify as a as a republican nor a democrat because there are principles you know that i can relate to on both sides but you know one of the things that millennials think about the democratic party is that okay this is the liberal party this is the progressive party and best believe the first thing that republicans are going to do to try to to sway those people is say oh you thought they were so liberal and so diverse, huh? But now your Democratic, you know, leaders are seen in blackface. So what you going to do now? Sure. Right. And, and, <laughs> Absolutely. And I would yep. do that if I was an opposition person. Yeah. I certainly would because that's politics. Absolutely. And, so, and you got to always remember people are out there, the enemies are out there digging for information. Yep. And so you got to keep yourself straight growing up. Like my, my, all of my graduate students and my three sons, I assume one day would be in key positions. Mm. And the sexual thing was not a big issue uh, years ago. The big issue was money. Mm. And I taught all of my graduate students at Michigan State, my three sons, I said, whatever you do, don't touch the money. Mm-hmm. I said, in America, they will let you off on a lot of things. But when they think you're stealing money, taking money under the table, they'll come after you. Yeah, And and I think eventually we're going to see that coming out in Washington, D.C. Oh, absolutely. And with Russia and uh, and, uh, the United States, money can be the root of not all evil, but a lot of evil. Mm. That's right. Wow. Mm. Well. Any closing comments? Because we are running, we are running on that seven o'clock. No, I just line. Uh, it's actually seven o four. So no, I'm going to yield it to Thin Bad. He always has those <laughs> those profound <laughs> thoughts, inspirational nah, closing nah, thoughts. It's, it's hard to be profound in any of this stuff. Uh, this yes. has just been it's, it's really crazy. I mean, this is not the kind of throwback you want, right? Uh, at all. Uh, it's just it's it you know it it bothers you personally. But obviously, it, it upsets the political waters, uh, and it's going to it's going to have an effect for some time to come, at least in in that state. And who knows what's coming out uh, tomorrow? Mm-hmm. You know, you you just never know. One one thing is leading to something else, to something else, and all across you know the states, it looks like they're they're certainly opposition is going after folks uh, by any means necessary, <laughs> in their in That's their right. uh, however they can do it. So uh, 2020 is uh, certainly 
in the, in folks' sights mm -hmm. as they try to figure out what we're going to do politically. But right. but this has been a great discussion. Uh, I, I think it's clear that you know blackface, the, the the minstrel shows, anything related to any of that kind of activity uh, can create anger, That's frustration right. in in the community. And, and throughout, beyond, you know, across the nation, not, not just the African-American community, but, but everybody, all races and religions and cultures are, are partners in historical effort to obtain equality and justice. Mm -hmm. That's right. And however, there are some people, though, that just, they just don't get it still. Yeah. Well, you know, here we are yeah. in 2019, mm -hmm. for 400 years after the first slaves came to this country, mm -hmm. and we're still talking about blackface. This is crazy. This is crazy. And they it has to, it has to stop. It has yeah. to stop. Right, right. And they <laughs> participate in overtly racist activity like these minstrel shows, dressing up in, in blackface or, or marching through Charlottesville with torches and swastikas. Every race and religion and culture has contributed to the greatness of the, our nation. And it's, yes. it's just too bad that some folks need to clean their glasses to see how beautiful diversity really can be. Yes. yes. Right. That is great. That is great. But well thou said. You know, that's all the time we've got this week, though. And, and Dr. Green, we want to thank you. Yes, for, for, thank you. Oh, sir, I want to thank, thank you. you for all you've done in the past and all you're continuing to yes, do. And, and you're downloading this information and sharing it with us yes. as well as how we move forward. Uh, and BZ, yes, Chief, sir. as sir. always, thank you for allowing us to give it to you straight. straight? No. No chaser. chaser. <laughs> You've been listening to Straight No Chaser. So join us next week for more hot topics. And also, you can always catch us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and of course, iHeartRadio. Radio.